in selection right now especially in given uh, in high dimension but if you have smaller number of direction dimension let's say p equal to 5 you can always go ahead with subset selection it's much easier then backward uh, step uh, regression okay so this is one type of selection method variable selection method which is reverse or forward you start with all predictors and then you uh, drop one at a time so in forward we start with one then you go to two variable model three variable model and so on and it's just the opposite you start with p number of variables and then p minus one p minus two and so on so here is a comparison we have backward stepwise we have forward stepwise so you start with all the predictors available let's say you have five predictors fixed one x2 x3 x4 x5 now here in the first step we found out that x2 is a bad variable or not so important or the least important variable it gets dropped here so we have x1 x3 x4 and x5 if someone is a variable is dropped it never gets added again okay so in in the four variable model you find that x2 will never be there right so you cannot have a four variable model with the presence of x2 so that's also a constraint right so this is also a constraint so you cannot have a three variable model where x4 has been dropped from the fourth variable model so you cannot have x4 a combination of x4 in the three variable model so that is you know uh, constraint out or that is you know taken out from the selection itself and that's a constraint so the number comes down similarly for second variable model x3 cannot be part of it because x3 gets dropped in third variable model so here x5 gets dropped so it cannot be present in the uh, one variable model so in the one variable model you ideally should have five models right as per the subset selection but here you will only have x1 with x2 with x3 and with x4 you cannot have a model with x5 because it's not part of it i'm sorry i'm really really sorry so it cannot have x2 either you cannot have x4 either you cannot have x3 either you only have x1 because these variables have been dropped previously right so x2 has been dropped in the first one x4 has been dropped in the second x3 has been so you cannot have four models or five models you can only have x1 because x1 is the one that is never dropped in the previous times right in the last three or four steps x1 hasn't been dropped so in the final model you can only have one choice or one model in that case on the other hand forward you just do the exact opposite right you start with one model and then keep that model keep that variable and then and then add another variable okay so in two variable model x1 has to be there in three variable model x1 and x2 which have been retained in this two variable model has to be there in the three variable model so you can see this is definitely there so it's exactly the opposite of backward so computational power requirement is similar to that of forward okay um, and the selection method is through RSS and Davids that we have discussed uh, and the comparison between forward and backward is that you have more choices now so you build a model with backward approach you build a model with forward approach and then you take the final model from backward and take the final model from forward and then compare their and you know, do the